The new tertiary treatment plant occupies an area of about six hectares within the existing eastern treatment plant boundary. The new plant comprises two large chlorine contact basins, UV and ozone disinfection systems, biological filters, a solids handling facility, ozone production and injection buildings, and a tertiary supply pump station. Advanced tertiary treatment is conducted in seven steps. Step one. Effluent from the existing secondary stage enters the advanced tertiary treatment plant via a new tertiary supply pump station. The purpose of this pump station is to lift effluent out of the existing holding basins to begin the tertiary treatment process. The first stage of treatment is the addition of ozone to reduce colour and odour and to optimise the rest of the treatment process. The ozone is generated on site using air as an oxygen source. Biological filters are a key part of the tertiary process. They remove oil, grease, foam, litter and solids and helpful bacteria break down organic compounds and reduce ammonia. The biological filters are cleaned using treated water. The dirty backwash water is then processed to separate out the solids which are then sent to the existing Eastern Treatment Plant sludge digesters. In the fourth step of the tertiary process, the filtered water is again treated with ozone for advanced disinfection. After this, the effluent is exposed to ultraviolet light for further disinfection. Chlorine is added as the third and final disinfection stage. The treated water then enters two large chlorine contact basins and is retained in these basins for at least 30 minutes. Finally, tertiary treated water is transferred to the existing outfall pump station which discharges to the southeast outfall. Some of the treated water from the outfall is recycled and the remainder is discharged to the ocean under EPA Victoria licence. <laughs>